Well, right now, the Akron community is still shaken after a seven-year-old boy was sent to the hospital in critical condition. He and a 19-year-old were shot Sunday after a youth football game. Officials believe the suspected shooter could be as young as 11. Today, I sat down with Akron's Youth and Community Opportunity Director to dive deeper into this issue with youth violence and learn more about what resources young people can turn to instead. Danico Buckley Knight's role is to provide opportunities for Akron's youth, hoping that supporting young people with programming and extracurricular opportunities will keep them out of trouble. Buckley Knight understands all too well the impact of youth violence. As a coach at East High School, he tells me he lost one of his players to gun violence on Wednesday. And then on Sunday, he had been at his son's football game at Lane Field, leaving just minutes before the shots were fired there. He and countless others are now left to deal with this aftermath. It's definitely a um, traumatic event when um, our youth are, you know, constantly dealing with um, shootings that are occurring in our community. Um, but particularly, you know, when you lose a friend or you lose a neighbor, you know, it's definitely um, something that hits different. Now, looking specifically at resources for young people in Akron, Buckley Knight points to the Out of School Time Network, which focuses on three main pillars, he says, academics and enrichment, involving dozens of nonprofits focused on what resources are needed in the community, college and career readiness for young adults, and sports and wellness geared towards getting young people participating in sports and on teams. And still headed five, I'll dig into more of the numbers on just how many young people are impacted by gun violence nationwide and here in Northeast Ohio.